The first step in my growth process was admitting that there was something wrong. I don't want to say admitting that I had a problem, even though to the masses, that might be how you would quantify it. But when you say you have a problem, it's kind of like you're beating yourself up. And that's the last thing we need to do is beat ourselves up. So in reality, it wasn't that I had a problem. It was more so that I was out of alignment or on the wrong path. And what really needed to happen was a shift in belief patterns and changing how I view myself and changing how I view the world. Everybody's journey is different, but I think this is pretty common for most people if they struggle with some form of addiction. It's that the first thing is you have to reach a point where it's like, fuck, enough's enough. And then it's like, okay, well, if enough is enough, then what next? And then it's just a matter of admitting that you are out of alignment. Kind of like if you're driving a car and your tires are out of alignment, you keep driving and it's gonna keep you know wearing one tire or two tires out more fast than the others, and then you're gonna end up in a ditch. I don't really know if that's how it works. I'm not a mechanic, but you get my point. From that point of admitting and acknowledging that something is out of alignment or that you're out of alignment or something needs to change, it's my belief and recommendation that the next step is rewiring your brain. Now you can look at this from a spiritual side of things or you can look at it from a scientific side of things or like me, I look at it from both angles. And just to recap, when I talk about spiritual, I'm not talking about traditional dogmatic religions. Nothing against those religions because I believe they all have a piece of the pie. It's just that I personally don't follow any one particular religion. But if you're someone who leans more on the science side of things and you want to see that kind of proof and that kind of literature, you can look into how neural pathways work and how they fire and wire and how if you go over time saying the same thing to yourself, eventually it becomes a new belief and then you start acting a certain way and you start feeling a certain way. So either way you look at it, when you get up in the morning and you go past the mirror after a shower or before a shower, pre-pee, post-pee, pre-poo, post-poo, it's common when you're in an addictive mind state, you don't really look at yourself or when you do look at yourself, you look at yourself from a place of bleh. So instead, if you stop yourself and you look at yourself in the mirror and say, damn it, motherfucker, you're sexy. Or look at you, you beautiful, beautiful soul, you. Or do you know how many people love you? Holy crap, man, people love the shit out of you. Or do you know how many people value you? Do you have any idea how many people value you? Or man, when I get around people, I make them feel good. I know that, I make them feel real good. That's what I do. I'm the feel good captain. There's a lot of things we can say to ourselves in a positive manner on a daily basis, whether it's in the mirror or you're going for a walk in nature or my favorite, a bike ride. And the more we talk positively to ourselves, the more positive we feel the more positive our experience is. It's as simple as that. And when we begin to feel more positive about ourselves, the less we seek outside circumstances or outside drugs or outside this or outside that, the more we begin to realize you can actually become high on life. Again, that's a real thing. Now, when you start going down that road, it's not all peaches and rainbows. There's ebbs and flows. There's ups and downs. You bump your head against the wall. You stump your toe, whatever, whatever. But the difference is now you start believing in yourself. So you start picking yourself back up. And each time you pick yourself up, you get stronger and stronger. It's not an easy road to go down. And I'm not saying that I've been perfect on my journey, but I know for sure that my journey has been perfect. Perfect for me. If you've been on the fence about taking the road less traveled of recovering from your vices and learning to love yourself, detoxing from your vices, maybe this is your sign. I urge you to take a trip down this road with me. I promise you'll be happy you did. If I can do it, you can do it. Just you white in me again. Just you white.